Supreme here with another definition of active, man. And you know I don't miss on none of my guests. It's only rare, dope shit. We were highlighting the dopest shit in Arizona. And honestly, this ain't another show to that, bro. I'm here with my boy Nation, man. How you feeling, G? Man, what's good, man? Man, we here at tri Studios, man. Where stars are born, man. For real, for real. Yo, dog, uh, I, I definitely have a lot to ask you today. Uh, I have a lot that I'm curious about. Uh, first and foremost, are you originally from Arizona? Oh, yeah, I'm born and raised. That's hard, bro, that's hard. I, I've never heard of, um, like, like a, a Tongan community in Arizona, man. You're going to have to educate me on that shit. You're going to have to invite me to the cookouts, bro, because I want to know what's up. <laughs> Straight up, you know what I'm saying? How was that, like, growing up Tongan in Arizona? Growing up Tongan in Arizona? Like, we around. It, it's, it's a pretty deep community, but... Yeah. Um, like growing up as a Tongan here, you know, we, we get influenced by a lot of other cultures. We got, um, a lot of Latinos and all that. Facts. Uh, but growing up Tongan, uh, we always, we're all big on families and, you know, like Arizona, if, if you ever hung out with Latinos and, and, uh, and all my brothers and everything. Big ass family. Yeah. Big ass family. Oriented shit. But. Yeah, but being born and raised here, like I was born and raised right, right next to that Mason sign that's right there on the. Oh, you from the east side? That's what's up. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Mason, man. I'm gonna get yeah. A-dub, man. What's good with y'all, so, man? So, shout out to. Hell yeah. But uh, yeah, but growing up Tongan, we all grew up around each other, like grew up with each other. Uh, we all we all share the same loyalty, like loyalty, respect, family thing. But uh, but the cookouts, I got it much to. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. You ever roasted pig before? Nah, nah, a whole pig. Yeah, a whole pig. Man, put me on. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, I stopped eating pork, but I'll eat pork for that situation right there. (laughs) For sure. I'll cut it off right after that. You know what I'm saying? Because that sounds crazy. So, what? When did you start making music? Like, what? Like, what was your first influences and like, like first experiences with like music recording? Music wise, uh, growing up, my brother was a DJ. So, like, he'll, he'll go around DJ. At all the Tongan functions, and that's kind of like where my where my uh, love for music came from. Mm-hmm. Cause I'll listen to like remixes, shit like that. But I really started music on, I'll say like the ukulele when I was like thirteen. That's hard, bro. Yeah. So like, I can't play no instruments. Yeah, yeah. So 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 everything <laughs> started with like the ukulele, and I switched to the guitar. Ugh. I started making song like original songs when I was like thirteen. Like I had like a whole notebook full. You be freestyling to the ukulele? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. <laughs> that's hard. See, that's the shit you get if you talk it, man. Like, <laughs> that shit's hard as shit. Stereotypical shit. Nah, shit. that shit's fire. Like, that shit's fire. Like, I could have never, like, you can't write shit like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's authentic. So then you go start up to, like, do actual guitars. Like, you doing electric guitars? Just, like, acoustic or, like? Uh, yeah, I, I could do electric guitar and acoustic. Mm. But, um, I just be doing, like, uh, uh, mainly acoustic, but I like to jam reggae beats and all that. That's hard. But, but, but I'll switch up, like I'll cover songs and then I'll switch it up and mix it with some of the like original work that I used to do. I can hear like rock, reggae, R and B, like fusion in your music. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like I'm a big fan of music. So like, facts, like, so like, I can hear that. Like painful music too. We gonna get into that too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, but it all started. It, it really all started when I met uh, E. Mm. It was back in like 20, 2019, right? Twenty eighteen. He it was then seventeen. That's fire. Yeah, I don't, I don't even remember. It's but it's timeless. Like, That's timeless. what it says. But ever since I, I, I locked in with E, the mix lord. Shout out E. You know? E in the back too. <laughs> <E in the laughs> <back chilling. laughs> but but ever since I locked in with E, we we've been locked in ever since. Mm-hmm. Like you're the only one that I trust to touch my music. That's what's up. Like, uh, like once we locked in, we locked in. That's that's the type of person I am. So, so if you ever tap in with me, like, I'm tapped in for life, basically. That's how it go, man. That's, that's back to that family and that loyalty. And yeah. it, it's good to be like that, especially in, like, the industry that we in. Like, you got to know who you can trust and who you can't. And, yeah. it's, and it's good that it's coming from the soil, from, like, your actual family yeah. and shit like that. So, like, what? So, how do I say? So, what was, like, your first time, like, really recording, like, putting out music? Because I, I know you had loyalty over checks first. That was your first project. Yeah. So, that was, like, two years after y'all met. You know what I'm saying? So, what hey, led to that? me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so what's the so like what led to that first project coming out? Uh, it first started with my first single, uh, Tunnel Vision. If you ever okay. heard Tunnel Vision, that was my very first song that I recorded. With you. It's on all platforms. Yeah, and yeah. it's on all platforms. Yeah, like, um, 
once I locked in with E, shout out my brother Johnny E. He was the he was a link, but I I, I met him in Major, uh, C Major, rest in peace, man. But um, damn. But, but ever since I, I met him in C Major, we've been we've been going cra- or we've been going crazy. But um, yeah, Tunnel Vision was was really my first actual like studio produced track. But I always wanted to get like into the studio mm-hmm. and, since I was a jit. So I was like, like, uh, worrying my brother about that shit. And I was like, bro, like, let's, like, we gotta get in the studio. We gotta get in the studio. Shit changes once you get in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Then it becomes a job. But yeah, but I never really, uh, I never really took it serious like that mm. until I actually hit the studio. Cause like my brother would always be like, like, yeah, now you like you got this shit. Like, cause he'll hear me playing on like on like the guitar and all that. And then once we linked up with E. I recorded Tonal Vision. That was the first time we met, and ever since then, she took off. Where'd you get your name from? So my middle name's Nathan. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but 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 everybody that knows me, like like since I was a kid, they call me Nate. Okay. Okay. So, so my nickname is Nate. But uh, like when I I turned seventeen, my my brother started calling me Nation. That's hard. So so he, so he was like Nation Nation, and then everybody just. Went along with it, and then it just became an artist. It's a name. family name, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a family name. The that, street every, gave him that name, family. bro. He got that shit from the soil, bro. Yeah, so, like people don't even like people don't even call me my regular name no more. They they call me Nick. That's hard, bro. <laughs> That's hard as fuck. I fuck with that shit. So you go from loyalty over checks, and then you go into pain music, right? Yeah. So <laughs> so that's when like I feel like the the pain arc started, like. Yeah. Cause it's like all the albums have pain and yeah. it's like, and that's on purpose, right? Yeah. So sure. so transitioning from Love Silver Checks was just like you coming out. Like, how do you go into pain music? Like, what did like were there huge life changes that came in that made that change? Or like you feel like this is like my lane in music? Uh, to be honest, it was, it was just something I wanted to try out. Cause me me like physically as a person, I don't really like to like open up like type shit like about shit that that go, that happens in my life. Mm-hmm. So one day, like I was just recording, and we and we was drunk off Hennessy, and I was like, "All right, let me or, or let me try some." And so uh, me me and he started recording. We were recording in the middle of my living room. Fine. We, yeah, we made that whole that whole pain music uh, tape in the middle of my living room. What kind of mic did y'all use? What kind of mic was it? E. I don't know. Ask e. e. What kind of mic? <laughs> I, I that's been- there you go. <laughs> hey, that's fire. Y'all using Pro Tools in the living room and shit, yeah, too? Yeah. That's yeah. fire, G. Yeah, See, bro? Yeah. That's authentic as fuck. Yeah, yeah. it was It was all family vibes around me when mm-hmm. I was making pain music. But uh, but that was really the album that, that really, like, solidified my sound. Mm-hmm. Like, like, because Loyalty Over Check, like, I was just playing around with stuff. Different styles. Yeah, different styles. Yeah. Like, but then once I once once I was making pain music, I was I was thinking to myself like I really gotta like find my like actual sound and just stick to it. That's very important, man. I don't think a lot of artists like realize when you hone in on what your niche is. That's when you're gonna start building your actual fan base. That's when you're so, gonna start making like your best shit. You're gonna yeah. start like paying attention to certain things that help like like strengthen that sound. Like yeah. I'm pretty sure you listen to certain music too that like helps you strengthen that shit. Oh, yeah, like even sure. like old music, new music, all that shit. Cause yeah. I hear the fusion brand, you like can really sing, so that shit is dope. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, cause you could have been rapping too. You know what I mean? Yeah, it could. Yeah, yeah. That's what a lot of people don't got both. You know what I mean? So yeah. like that shit is hard. So like, okay, so you move from that, and then you go into your first pain season. So like now I'm seeing like a a, a pain trend. Like yeah. so like this is what it is. Like I, 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 this is the type of shit I like to speak on is pain. So like, yeah. do you start getting a lot of fans that like? reach out to you because they can relate to that shit in your music yeah not not really me myself but my siblings because mm. a lot of them don't really um because i don't really know like like how big i am like out of state until i actually like go out of state mm. like like type shit but uh but my siblings be the ones that usually get the messages they be like damn nay that or, or or this nigga just said this about your tape he said this shit hard just he said uh he said keep going like all that but i never get it myself but but, but I don't know why they don't say it to me, but 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 they always tell my siblings. But my siblings, they always let me know, like like you're on the right path, type shit. I was like, like because people text them, they're like, "Bro, this shit helped me through like a, a rough patch in my life." And you know, to me, that's that shit dope. Like 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 I feel like if I can help people through my music, yeah, that's a win win. Like, so so now like. I haven't seen you do a lot of shows. Oh no! So like, 
See, he's shaking his head. He's like, that's what's up. So y'all hold, y'all don't just, y'all, okay. I like that. I like that. And I see, and I seen on your on your Instagram as well. You say no free features. So you're not even playing about this shit. Oh, nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't you ain't wasting no time out. Like, how, how does it take to get to a point where you know your worth too? Because like, how many shows have you done so far? And like, would you say since you started? I think I've only done one. That's hard, bro. Yeah, I've I'm only <laughs> I've, I've only done one, and that's when I opened up for a uh, little TJ. And you ain't gonna. You know, and he's like, that's the one I did. Yeah, and but like after. <laughs> After that, uh, that show, like, I, I just wanted to get, like, a feel for how how shows feel, feel me? But uh, after that show, that was a really, like, that's when I, I started really grinding. Mm-hmm. Like, that's when um, uh, that's when I started making The Pain Kid, mm-hmm. my EP, The Pain Kid. So, and, and, and that's crazy, too, because that's, that's when people started calling me after, um, I dropped pain music and pain season, so I was yeah. So I'm like, I was like, I was doing this in the train. Yeah, you yeah, know what so, I'm saying? That's yeah. dope, though. Yeah, but uh, that's that's really the only show that I ever did was that little TJ show. That's crazy. What's the ticket to book you this show? What's the ticket? You said it on. <laughs> What's the ticket, <laughs> What's the ticket yo? Said I said it in eulogy, man. Like. <laughs> Nah, okay, like, you know, hey, like that's, you gotta talk with my brothers though. No, nah, that's 100. <laughs> hey, and that's 100 that y'all standing on that because that's all you're gonna get in up. Like, people don't really, you know, they take whatever for, for shows and yeah. gigs, and like, you don't want to water it down, like, like and, and saturate yeah. yourself. You feel me? Like, you can get into a and into a situation where you're just doing hella shows, hella shows, and doing everything, taking all the money. You kind of like lower your worth with yeah. that shit. You know what I'm and saying? Like, and like, the thing for me is uh, because a lot of people they be like, oh, you want us to pay for features. But would you pay for features? Well, I'll pay. I'll, I'll pay a motherfucker's price. I hate that stupid ass yeah. argument. <laughs> I swear to God, because they they think when they ask that question that you're not a person that'll pay for a feature or has paid for one yeah. before. Like, uh, duh, bro. I, like, I, I, I paid for like three, three. Boom. Features, and that, yeah. And that shit not- it's, it's nothing to me. In some situations, you'll meet motherfuckers who ain't going to charge you and do all that exactly. shit. That, that happens when it, it happens naturally. That's not something you, you come out there asking for. You know what I'm saying? And like, and you got you to take care of your family with this shit. Yeah, exactly. The same like, like, like. We trying to build. Yeah. Uh, um, what's that shit called? Financial like, stability. stability. Yeah. Good shit, man. I fuck with this. I fuck with that shit. Yeah. I like that you keep talking about your camp too. Like teamwork is important. Oh, yeah, huh? yeah. Like, like I love my family. Like, mm. That's the number one thing to me. Like, like, he, like he knows I'll, I'll cancel a whole ass session if it's not my family trip. <laughs> See, you put your family first. A lot of people start to lose track and shit. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to do business with, with family if they don't see the big picture. Like I, just the energy. Like, I've, and I've only seen you in this session and, a, and another session. And you had your family both times, yeah. and they all be here, like here to support you, giving their energy to you, no matter what they're doing. They're all yeah. doing something, you know what I'm saying? And like a lot of people don't have that shit. They come to the studio with a bunch of motherfuckers who just here to bullshit, smoke, sit around, yeah. not contributing nothing to the goal. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And like that's not a team. That's just like niggas hanging out and shit. Like I see this you about your business, bro. Like that shit is respectful. So like, okay, so you going into painful love, and you going to pain season two. Then you switch to cowboy, get a cowboy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, what I mean? so like, what, what made you, what made you switch this, into the country, which is fire, by the way. Don't get yeah. it twisted. You know what I mean? And it still fits in the pain genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you listen to the lyrics for sure, you know what I mean. But like, who was the who? Who gave you the beat? Like, who? Who's like, yo, next is, you should start doing country music. Uh, it was really my 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 older brother Odie. Like, like, but since but since the beginning, he was like, like he was like. You too versatile to just stick to one type of genre. And he's like, he's like, you a type of motherfucker that can touch uh, country. You could touch reggae. You could touch mm. like anything. But, that's a gift, G. Yeah, and 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 that's what he always told me. But I never listened to him because I'd be like, because because I like to keep my head low. I don't like to like be like, oh yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Like like when people compliment me and shit, like. I, I'm like I'm a type of motherfucker that. Well, you just had to take them, yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. I <laughs> swear, I feel you. I feel you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> What's up? yeah. Be like, man, I fuck with your music, and I don't even know what to say. I just be like. Thank you, you, bro. Thank you. Bro, embrace that shit, bro. Hey, because honestly, bro, like, you yourself and, like, what I've always, like, known, like, what I've always been, like, taught by, like, my elders and shit, like, you don't know whose life you're saving by being yourself every single day, bro. So, like, that's the reason why, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's why, like, I like to highlight the fact that, like, you go through your discography and there's only one project that don't have pain in it. You know what I'm saying? So, it means you're always, to me, when I see something like that, it's something that you're speaking on and you're always going through and growing through. You know what I mean? All right, bet. So, get on cowboy, bro. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, how do you, how do we transition to country music, which is like that shit is fire. So like, what 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 was the how did that session go? Uh, I kind of just low key like I heard the beat in my whip, and I was just like, just on some funny shit. I was I was, I was just driving and I was driving through the city and I was just like, uh, I'm tipping in, see out the box like that type I shit. Like that. <laughs> yeah, just started. Yeah, just started. Uh, I like that shit. Singing that shit <laughs> and then. Uh, and then it, I don't know, it just came to me. And then I, I, I walked inside uh, my room, and my little brother Biggie and Jonah was there. And they, and I'm like, bro, I think I just fucking made a country song. And they, and uh, they was like, ah, nigga, you got to show us. And I was like, I right, for sure, let me play the beat. So I, I started playing it, and then I started singing it. And they, and like, I looked over at them. Like after I got done singing, they was like, bro, that shit a hit. And I was, I was like. Ah uh, yeah, that fuck it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a make that shit into a song. So what if like a label hits you and they want you to only make a country album? I could do it easy because you write easy your money. song, song. Yeah, yeah. Every, every, I didn't like. I felt like I didn't even have to ask you that song, that question, bro. Because I, <laughs> I knew the answer to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you could tell because like you can't have somebody else helping you write shit about yourself, and the music probably yeah. comes easier when you're talking about yourself, yeah, your own for life. Sure. But yeah, you, that that's a whole lane for you, bro. Yeah, I know yeah. that's just one single and it's just fresh. Is the video coming out soon? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Me, me and Dub are talking about shooting. Y'all the video. got shoot video, yeah, because yeah, that shit going crazy. That uh, that shit was on uh, the radio, actually. I believe it. In, like, uh, has it been on TikTok at all? Uh, yeah, kind of. Like, that's a big hit, bro. That's a big hit for Arizona. I feel like too. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's something the state gotta yeah. get behind in situations like that. Because like, I see the hey, country genre. That's another thing too. A lot of motherfuckers don't know I'm from here. Like. So we gotta music. highlight that shit. <laughs> nah, you know nah, what I'm that. saying? Like, <laughs> like, like, motherfucker from the east side, bro. Stop playing with this nigga, bro. Go ahead. Like, like, like uh, when they hear my music, like a lot of people, when they hear my music, they don't think I'm, I'm from Arizona. They think I'm from like Cali, Washington, something like somewhere that's not here. But that's I, but, but, but I tell them all the time, bro. I'm a zone baby, born, born and raised. Like I swear to it's God, it's a melting pot here, man. <laughs> like we hear, we yeah. hear all that music coming through here. Like we literally are like, you have to pass through here to get to places. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, that don't surprise me. And like, even though like that might be true, you still got your own style with yeah. that shit. You know what I mean? And like, sure. it's and it's authentic and it's dope. You feel me? Yeah. So like, is that what's next? So you guys are like mapping out the video. That's what's next. What yeah. you focusing on? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm hard, focusing bro. on right now. But I was telling my little brother. Uh, I was like, I should make a country project. A hundred percent, bro. Yeah, like a hundred percent, bro. Just as like a new fan of your music in general, and then just seeing like what I heard, and then a quick pivot. The most recent song is a fucking country song, bro. Yeah, that shows so much growth, and like, bro, he can pivot, and he's nice, like, and I yeah. know he can do other shit. You know what I'm, bro? You ready as hell? You know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel, I feel like the state need to get behind dope artists who are like who are there bro who are yeah. like who are who are making sure. it so that we could pull a seat up to the table for real you feel me that's dope that people that, think that you sound in other places that means you will hit another market yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of hidden talent over here like overlooked talent to me like mm. personally I, I feel like there's a lot of motherfuckers that's doing shit but it's just not a lot of people noticing because mm. of where we're from like, Facts. Like I like I said, like we're zone babies. We always get overlooked. One hundred percent, man. Like I posted that on my story a long time ago. Like, uh, uh, the zone babies. We always get overlooked just just because we're from here. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of motherfuckers don't want to take it serious just because we say we're from Arizona. Like they think this shit like weird or something. I'm like, bro, you ain't never met a true Arizona person. Nah, one hundred percent, right? <laughs> like a person that's born and raised in Arizona, bro. Hey, when people try to play with Different Arizona, like, yeah. it's like, it's like, well, you can tell what you've what you've experienced out here by how you talk about Arizona. Yeah, one hundred percent. And it, and the people who grew up out here, who are like from, especially like places like hoods and shit like that, like we have a whole different experience of yeah. Arizona than a bunch of other people. Like yeah. that's why the music be sounding dope from those places, you know. Yeah. And we gotta highlight that shit. You I feel me? Like, sure everybody enough. be like trying to out thug each other, like, bro, just get nah, some money, bro. We like, shouldn't be like. <laughs> like I I feel like, and I understand, like, everybody might have, like, their own personal situations and internal Like, you can't control some of that shit, but, like, Arizona shouldn't be beefing with each other at all because we're trying to get X. a seat at the table right now. So, like, we should just be supporting what's dope. For you sure. know what I mean? Nah, nah. No matter where they're from, no matter, like, what like type of music they're making, like, if these niggas are, make, are contributing to making sure Arizona look like a good investment and that we have a sound, like, we're, we're, we're dope and we deserve to get yeah. eyes shot, we should be supporting that shit. Yeah, there, should, there should be no doubt, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's so why I'm glad we have this platform and, like, we have people like tribe you know what i'm saying motherfuckers yeah. who see the Shout big picture Milo. you know what i'm saying Milo, no like we all big we, we big picture people yeah. you know what i'm saying and like 
you're like you're about to be like a pillar out here, like with your music for your yeah. people, for your side, bro, and for the state, bro. And like I feel like you already understand your responsibility. Like you kind of already basking it because you you hold down your family. Yeah. And like your family's gonna be your fans too. You feel exactly. me? Uh, do a country album. <laughs> Let me get a cameo on that shit. I can't ride a horse or nothing, but you feel me? I'll wear a cowboy hat, nice outfit. You feel me? Like shit, I'm talking. No, nah, that's just so. that's just hard, bro. That shit. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <laughs> hey, riding horses is crazy. I don't know if I'll do it for. I, I just want to get bucked off that motherfucker, man. <laughs> Can't do it, G. That shit's crazy. No, nah, but let them know where to find you, man. And tell them like, let them uh, before before that before that. What's advi- what's some advice you would give to up and coming artists like that that wants to be in a lane that's not just rap? You know what I mean? And show that they're genre bending that they can be in a bunch of different lanes. Like, what advice would you give to them? Coming up, because I think a lot of people think you can only be a rapper or be an R and B singer or be a, in rock. You know what I'm saying, and not be able to blend genres yeah. and shit. Practice, like mm. that's all I do is like I be in the shower, I be in the whip, riding, just saying random bullshit, mm. Pract- like practicing, like just find your outlet, and once you find that outlet, just pursue that sound un- until you feel like that's your own sound. Mm. Like, yeah, there's gonna be. People that say you sound like this person, you sound like this person, but but as long as you're staying true to yourself, bro, who who cares? Like, <laughs> like, like oh yeah, I never pay attention to haters because like haters just means you're you're, you're doing the right thing. Next, you be getting haters. Of How course. you be getting haters? Everybody what? gets haters, man. That's real though. You think it's better <laughs> to like have like absolutes? Like I'd rather you fuck with me and hate me than be in the middle and shit. Like, or you? Wait, how do you feel about shit like that? Like. Like, what you mean? Like, obviously, you can't just have everybody's just going to be a fan of your shit. Like, even niggas like Drake, who are, like, the biggest artists have a yeah. bunch of people that hate him. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, would you rather have, like, I want, I'd rather have absolutes. Like, either you love me or you hate me. Like, I don't want, like, you to be unsure about me, though. You know what I'm saying? Because all, all that shit moves you, like, up. You know yeah. what I mean? It's all good and bad publicity and shit. How you feel about that shit? To me, personally, that shit don't really matter to me. <laughs> I, I just, if you a hater, you a hater. If, mm. Because for every hater that I got, this shit, there's probably another fan. You feel me? Like, that's why I'm always saying, like, bro, just work. That's all you can do. Motherfuckers who be hating be hating themselves, bro. Yeah. That's what it really be. Not nah, for sure. <laughs> Not 100. Let them know where they can find you, gang. Uh, shit. I'm on IG. Uh, Nation, N-E-I-T-I-O-N-N. Double N at the end. And um, shit. I'm on all platforms. You, you, you can search my name. It's Nation, N-E-I-T-I-O-N. Tongan out here in Arizona. Yeah, man. I'm a Tongan. That shit. <laughs> hey, tell. Can, can we talk about the root on the camera? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. What was that? What y'all was talking about? Oh, Kava. Yeah, 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 yeah. We been drinking. Um, I, I said that shit the white boy way. My bad. <laughs> Kava. We, 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 we been drinking Kava. It's it, it's, it's like a relaxer. Mm. Um, shit. That that's what the whole Yaba gang is about. Mm. Uh, Explain oh, that. So Yaba gang is, is pretty much um, me and all my brothers. Uh, it's our it's our Kava Club, so um, the club is called Kalapu Fengaola. But Fengaola it, it means um, Fengaola is uh, it, it means strive to succeed. Hmm. So it strive to succeed. So we're just a group of brothers that's just a bunch of hustlers. Hmm. Like we all we're all trying to achieve something better than what we are. Hmm. And um, the Yaba Gang uh, YPPA it stands for Young aspiring people pursuing achievements, so we're all just trying to make make a way for us and our families. And like the number one thing in our in our club is family. Mm. Um, that's the foundation of everything. Yeah, that's the foundation of mm. of, of everything. But but the club we be drinking um, that kava root, and so we be getting you lit. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right here. Is that, that what it is? Yeah, that's that kava. What's it taste like? It's like real earthy. Out? It's real earthy. But e, what's up? E, e. But don't sip it. But how much should I drink? The whole cup. Chug it. Like that? Just chug it, and then if you need to chase it, you can drink some of my Mountain Dew shit. I don't know. <laughs> what? So I'm, I'm about to stop earthy. asking questions. Yeah, yeah. It's just real earthy. I, 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 that's what. It, that's all I can explain. Yeah. But if you drink like five, six of them cups, yeah, don't throw up, man. <laughs> My boy about to feel, man. <laughs> yeah, but that shit tastes crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but if you nah, like it's like bro, it tastes like 
Like black licorice. <laughs> but but if you see that hard let me get a <laughs> like, <laughs> That's probably like a bad representation. That's the closest thing I think. I chugged it too, like Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Has like a numbing. Yeah, you your, your <laughs> mouth gonna get numb. That I'm not sure it has like a numbing thing. Effect. That's crazy. But if you drink enough of it, bro, you you're lit. Like and like every never drank it before and your tolerance is low, will it be like fire? Like um, feel it, you think or I have to drink like a couple more cups? You probably like like if you drink a couple more cups, yeah, you'll feel it for sure, bro. Nation, I'm gonna chill out, you know what I'm saying? Cause I just met you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? For real, for <laughs> real. And like we drinking this cava. Nah. Nah, but everybody be Oh yeah, it don't taste that, that bad though. Yeah, but but once you chase it, it's cool. So I uh, cover with the with the apple juice. Yeah, we gotta make a song. So making... first, this is my first bar. Cover with the apple yeah. juice. <laughs> cover <Kava> juice. <laughs> bro, the numbing shit is Damn, crazy. Bro, if they did that shit, bro. You be gone. <laughs> hey, the numbing, the numbing shit, the numbing shit is crazy. Yeah, like, nah. You can feel that shit. Yeah, nah. When, uh, How do you make it? Like, so. Uh, Chug that shit. Yeah, I just did that shit on camera. I'm a real one. Hey. I see I, I see them tears in your eyes. Bro. Hey, it was serious. I was like, hey, I got My halfway through. Said. I'm like, you got finishes, bro. You got finishes, dog. You already committed to that shit. E in the back like, you got to drink it all, bro. Yeah. He said, got to drink nah, all you, that shit. You got to. Bro, E be lit off this shit. <laughs> Engineering my shit, bro. Like. And so you know it works good, bro. Yeah. Damn, we got to get this in bottles, hey, bro. Hey, but, but if you can't sleep, but if you can't sleep and you drink, Six, seven cups of this, bro. You'll go to sleep. And I'll, you said it's natural, too, so it ain't all, all yeah, side all effects of that bullshit. All natural. <laughs> shit, that shit low-key going viral on TikTok, too. For real? Yeah. Because, uh, like, like, people starting to discover it little by little. Mm. So, never know. Boy, like, it'll be a lame... Like, I might be hitting you up just to get, get some cover. Oh, yeah, for sure. I got you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Model's Nation up there? Can you get some cover? Come. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got a whole ass cava bar. That's where we meet. That's where the Yappa gang meets. We all just go over there and drink this shit. Yeah, this shit, like, this numbing shit is crazy. Like, (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how to explain it, bro. Like, that shit's crazy as fuck, man. All right, man. Back. Uh, The cava got me lit, man. Now let them know where they can find your nations. (laughs) I think I already said it, but. Yo, yo, yo. (laughs) We did the the cava turn and shit. We got to let them know for real, man. My bad, man. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, nah. You good. Uh, Love, man. You want me to say it again or no? <laughs> nah, you nah, good, bro. Nah, nah, you nah, good, man. We good. That bitch is active. Here with Nation, man. We here, man. Get on Cowboy out right now. Make sure y'all get that shit. It's on yeah, all yeah. motherfucking platforms, all man. Platforms. We here in this bitch. Age the way too active, man. Uh, I need man. Y'all forget. Hell yeah.